In this video, let me walk you through a complete workflow for creating a digital ad from design to deployment. Follow along as I go over how to build a clean, effective layout in Adobe InDesign, and then use a custom script to export it as a layered TIFF file. From there, we'll jump into Views and the HTML Ad Creator to bring the ad to life with animation. I'll finish off by showing you how to export the ad as HTML, ready for upload to Google Ads. So let's jump in and get started. Before we get started, I want to talk about the InDesign script we'll be using today. I used ChatGPT to help build it out, and essentially when you run this script, it honors the layer structure from your InDesign document and exports it as a TIFF file. That's important because Vuest allows you to upload files in this format. I'll include a link to the InDesign script in the lesson files with instructions on how to install it regardless if you're on a Mac or Windows. On my screen, I have a template for a 300 by 600 ad, and I'd like to build it out in InDesign before I export it as a layered TIFF using the script and uploading it to Vuest. I've built a CC library, you can see that on the right hand side, and it'll help me to add the assets to the page. It's just important that when you place them on the page, they're also on the proper layer. I'll open my layers panel here to show you and get a better look. These are all the layers that correspond with the assets in the CC library. You can see I have logo, main title, subheader, button, image, back shape, and background. I'll start with the background, and you can see I already have that layer selected. So I'll choose it from my CC library, drag and drop it onto my page, and then I'll just position it into place. You can also use your alignment tools in the upper right hand corner in the control panel. Ensure that you have it aligned to the page and then align the horizontal and vertical centers. Next, I'll choose the logo layer and then select the logo from the CC library. I'll drag the logo onto the page, hover over the image, and while holding Option on a Mac, that's Alt on Windows, click to place it inside of the frame. Now I'll click on the main title text frame and you can see that automatically selects it in the layers panel. I have some text here that I'll paste into the frame and the title is Next Level Crypto Trading Starts Today, and the latter is the subtitle. So I'll cut that and then click inside of the subheader, ensure that you have that selected, and we're going to paste that into the subheader text frame. So now I have my main title as well as my subheader text. Now I've gone ahead and already created paragraph styles for both of these. I'll show you how simple this is working in a template. Place your cursor anywhere in the text, and in the Paragraph Styles panel, I'll choose the Main Title Style. And I'll do the same with the subheading. Just click inside, and I'll click Subtitle. Those are already done. I'll open my Layers panel, and I'm going to click on my Selection tool just to ensure that both of those are on the proper layer, and they are. Next, I'll bring in my Main Image. So again, I'll click on the Main Image layer. From the CC Libraries panel, I'll select the main image asset and drag it onto the page. Hover over the main image frame and while holding Option or Alt, click to drop it in. Next, I'll click on Back Shape. This will be the shape that goes behind the main image and here it is here. So I'll just click it once, drag, and just drop it and place it behind the main image. Center it to the page just like so. Now to complete my ad, I want to add a button. You can see I've built one out here. It's a learn more button. Again, ensure that you have the button layer selected. Choose your asset and drag it on the page. I'll drop it in and I'll place it right underneath the main image. Something like that will work. Now that I have the design, it's time to run the script. The script will run much smoother if you have Photoshop running as it uses Bridge Talk to make the connection from InDesign to Photoshop and execute the export. To access the script, I'm going to make my way up to Window, down to the Utilities Flyout, and then choose Scripts. To access the script, I'll expand the Application folder, Samples, JavaScript, and if I scroll down just a bit, here is the script that I created, and I named it InDesign to Photoshop. Now there are a couple ways of running this. You could double click it, which I'll do in just a moment, or you can right click and run script. I'm going to double click and save it to a folder that I created. I'll just click open. 
The TIFF has been exported and I'll quickly show you the file in Photoshop. I've opened the TIFF in Photoshop and let me show you all the layers that were carried over from InDesign. Here they are. There's logo, main title, subheader, button, image, back shape, and background. Now with this script, the layers should be stacked in the same order as the InDesign document. However, if they aren't, you can reorder them in Photoshop. It is important to note that this script does not keep the text live when it's exported as a layer TIFF. But you can see here that all the layers are intact and we're now ready to upload the ad to Vuest where we'll add animation and export the HTML5 package for production. Let's do that next. Vuest is a powerhouse production tool that allows you to create and deliver high quality content at scale faster than ever. For a limited time, use code ANGELO62 and get 62% off a standard monthly plan for 12 months. Now, let me show you how to upload the design to Vuest. Once you're in the Vuest dashboard, click the three dots in the upper right hand corner and choose Upload Design. Select the layered TIFF that we exported from Photoshop and click Open. That'll take a few moments to upload to the Vuest platform. Once the ad's been uploaded, click the title at the very top and choose another name. You could see it just adds a generic name to your ad. I'm going to name this Veloro Ad and the dimensions 300 by 600. Next, I'll hover over the ad and choose Edit. This opens the ad in the Vuest editor. Keep in mind that Vuest does have design tools and templates for non-designers. In the left side menu, you can see that you can add text, images, and buttons. Before I show you how to download the creative as an optimized HTML5 package, I wanna add some simple animation to the ad. So in this case, I'll switch from the design editor to Vuest animation editor. Here you can see the timeline with all the layers from the ad design. If I scroll down, I'll start by adding an animation to the main title layer. You can simply just click in that layer and choose from one of the preset animations built into Vuest. In this case, I'll choose slide in right. Now I wanna position this right at the beginning of the timeline, so just drag it so it's at zero seconds. So essentially this will start once the ad plays. You can see now that it's hidden off the design and if I look in my right side menu here, you can see that it starts at 0 ms, which is 0 seconds. The duration is 1000 ms, which is 1 second. I'll repeat the same for the logo layer. Again, I'll just click to add an animation. However, I want this to come in the opposite direction. So this will be slide in left, and I'll simply just drag it to the beginning of the timeline. I'll add an animation to the subtitle. Again, I'll just click in that layer and in this case I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I want to choose flip vertical. Now instead of dragging this into position I'm going to ensure that I still have it selected and in the start at field I'm going to type in 750 and I'll leave the duration at one second as well. So the pacing of this will remain consistent. Next I want to add an animation to the main image so again, I'll just click anywhere in that layer. And for this, I just want a simple fade in. I want to start this animation at the 250 millisecond mark and the duration will also be one second. So if we play this back, let's have a look at how it appears so far. I'll press the play icon and you can see that all the animation plays out with the timing I set up. I'm going to zoom out just a bit so I could see the button and I'm going to adjust my timeline. I'll just bring that down a bit. And now I want to add a pulse animation to the button. This will pulsate once the other animation plays out. So I'll click in that layer to add the animation. However, instead of appearance, we'll choose accents. From the selections, I'll choose the pulse preset. And I want to start this animation at 1700 milliseconds. So I'll type in 1700. And we're not going to worry about the duration because we're going to actually repeat this to play out several times so the duration will be adjusted accordingly. However, in the accent scale percentage, I want to adjust it from 100 to 105%. And I'm going to repeat this nine times. So I'm just going to increase the repeat level to nine. So you can see that the entire creative will play about 10 seconds in length. 
So if I play this back now, I'll press the play button, you can see that all my animation appears. And have a look at the learn more button. It pulsates throughout to grab your attention. It's just a really nice touch. Views also lets you add other sizes based on this initial design. I covered this in a previous tutorial, which you can find in the description or by clicking the video card above. Next, let me show you how to download the HTML package for production. To export the HTML, click the download button in the upper right hand corner and choose HTML. Here you can export custom HTML or choose from one of these digital ad platforms. For example, if I choose Google Ads, Vuest will optimize it for this platform. Simply enter your click URL. Now because Veloro is a fictional company, I'll add my website as the click URL. You also want to ensure that optimize banner size and use at two times assets are selected. There are some other options here if they pertain to you, but these are the more critical ones. And once you have those settings in place, go ahead and click download to download it to your computer. Now that the ad's been downloaded, I'll open the HTML index file to view it in a web browser. I've opened the folder with the Google Ads export from Vuest, and I'll right click the index.html file to open it in a web browser. You can see that the animation works great, and now it's just a matter of uploading it to your Google Ads account. I can even click the ad to redirect me to my website, montilladesign.com. You now understand how to go from a static design in Adobe InDesign to a fully animated HTML ad using Vuest. If you found this tutorial helpful, leave a like, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest tutorial content. Want to learn more about Adobe InDesign? Check out the playlist above. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.